Hello everybody and welcome back to Magic and Miracles where you learn how to be the magician of your life. My name is Anna and I'm your most favorite manifestation coach under the sun. Reason why is nobody cares as much for their clients as I do and nobody spends as much time on their clients and with their clients like I do, true story. And there's no such coaching on the internet anywhere like my coaching. I coach mainly in audio exchange as well as phone sessions. The two packages for coaching, the links are directly below as well as on my website. I also offer an hour conversation with me to establish that I'm your kind of coach before you book coaching with me. That's on my website as well. I offer seminars up to 10 people. If it's less people or more people, we can discuss. As well as there's a crash course for one for which I just did a little intro on my channel. Uh, the first two minutes kind of introducing it um, and getting it out there um, to the public. This is just basically um, a, an overall recap of what I coach with, uh, the, the kind of outline of my coaching with everybody. It basically gives you instruction how to do it yourself if you don't want coach to come into coaching or can do the coaching one-on-one. -on -one. Ultimately, of course, I advise to coach with me one on one. But if you're somebody who wants to do it themselves, um, the package also includes um, two hours um, of conversation with me um, to uh, one hour conversations, I should say, where you get to ask questions and I give you answers, obviously. So if that's for you, or if you want to give a gift um, to somebody for Christmas um, and things like that, that's actually a, a very good value <laughs> for um, $1,050. That's what it really is. Um, for uh, the coaching that I do uh, for two to three months, sometimes longer in my coaching. It just basically gives you instructions and then you get to, to be on the phone with me. I do recommend one-on-one -on -one coaching with me uh, two to three months minimum, okay, just so I can get to cover the program with me. I don't have any secrets. It's not really about having secrets. It's about doing the work. And I think one-on-one -on -one coaching is um, ultimately the best thing because there is somebody instructing you and there's no way to give somebody instructions enough um, if you are not interacting with somebody who knows your history like I go through in my coaching starting with childhood. I always start with childhood all the way up up to today because it matters to me to know the person in and out to in order for them to become a different person inside and out. And so that's what I focus on first in my coaching. I do not focus on manifestation. Uh, it might come as a surprise. The manifestation part in my coaching comes last. Now, for those of you who have been bombarded <laughs> with information on YouTube that might seem odd, but this is exactly what's necessary. You don't really need to watch that many videos on YouTube. Yes, surprise, surprise. You really need to figure out yourself who you are, what your beliefs are, correct them. And then the manifestation part is easy. Manifestation is easy. It's like the air that you breathe. It's like you move your fingers. It's like you look at subject, uh, objects or subjects. <laughs> it's like seasons changing. Manifestation is easy and inevitable. The reason why you're not manifesting what you want to manifest, that's another story. And the story is usually rooted in your beliefs. And that's actually what my my coaching centers around. I always um, have fun when somebody sends me like some kind of course, online course um, uh, from different coaches that have millions of subscribers. And that's very well and good. And that's I, good for you and everything like that. But for me, honestly, I've been... Um, kind of like I taught myself everything I know about manifestation, if you will. Um, earth is a school, uh, life is a school, so it's not really that hard if you're curious. Um, but I took profound interest about 15 years ago and everything I learned and, and kind of like, um, established, um, for myself, I teach in my coaching in a condensed version. And so even if you spend six months with me in coaching, I don't consider that such a long time in order to change your life and years of dysfunction. And so to go back to other coaches, 
Um, I wish them all to success, it isn't that, but very often people send this information to me and I look at it and um, I just don't understand what, what is the idea behind an online course if there's nobody interacting with you, if there's not even a possibility of interacting with a human, okay, that's not coaching, that's called, I don't know what it's called, but it's not coaching. Even in the crash course one, uh, people who can't for some reason do my coaching I offer two hours on the phone with me direct connection with me with the coach and so with clients of mine I interact two to three times per week with audio exchange package and with telephone sessions that's what coaching is about somebody needs to interact with you on a daily basis um, excuse me not on a daily basis but on a regular basis Okay, ask your opinion. What do you think? What about this? Ask your questions. What do we do next? What do we work on next? That's coaching. Taking a fucking online course, it's, uh, I'm sorry, it's money wasted. And even though it's less money than my coaching in some instances, um, you know what? Other coaches charge like quintuple the amount um, for what I do here. So there has to be in the middle kind of situation. And that is what I try to deliver because outside YouTube, I certainly have clients that I charge more money and I wanted to bring this in the middle kind of, um, market to the coaching where you do get to interact with an, the actual coach and you do get to do the work the way you need to do the work. Okay, so I hope that this resonates. And if it does, all the information from me is below. The best idea is to pre-book um, and get on the phone with me first thing. That's how I start my coaching. If you have any questions, uh, my email is below. Okay, the subject of today is how to command your SP into a new version. Okay, a lot of people ask me in my coaching about commanding and a lot of people ask me in my coaching about my confidence and a lot of people ask me in my coaching about um, why do I say it's so easy? A lot of people say that to me. Well, I can only speak from my experience and I can only speak from the experience of the clients that have done very well in my coaching, which is 90%, okay? I'm not exaggerating. I think it's not a matter of, you know, someone is smarter or somebody is not as smart. It's a matter of just connecting to the idea that you're the one in charge. Okay, this kind of like blows in the face of everything you may have been taught whether you follow a certain religion, I myself grew up into religions, okay, Jewish and Christian Orthodox, um, you know, but some things are really useful that I took away from the, both of those religions. Um, a lot of things that you maybe been disempowered since your childhood and this and that and the other. These are called beliefs, parentheses here. Okay, so nobody teaches this at, uh, at school, or even though I think they should. You are the one in charge. You are the commander-in-chief. You are the, the CEO of your life. You're the one who commands reality into existence. So if you're in a victim mode right now, and you have the separation with your, with your SP, whether that's your uh, romantic partner or, or a crush or interest of some kind, or it's a um, kind of like a contract that you've been working on for a certain time, or a relative or a parent, whoever it is, okay, or a friend, it truly doesn't matter. The reality of things is that we're living in the serial universe, as Neville called it, and he dropped that gem in like one of his um, um, recordings one time. And I feel like he should have been talking about this more, like way more. And I feel Neville, as brilliant as he was, was very kind of like um, convoluted, very, very awkward, awkwardly worded. And it should have been said a lot more clearer, just as a, a lot of people um, on the internet. That's the other, the other thing I wanted to touch on. Like the other day, somebody um, sent me a video off of YouTube and yeah, again, million subscribers, this and that, some kind of coach offer, offering online courses, blah, blah, blah. But so the videos, um, all of them are kind of like parroting back each other. 
There's no new thoughts. That's problem number one for me. And two, they. So I remember watching those kinds of videos like 15 years ago and being inspired by them. But at some point, you need to evolve and really understand how it actually works, like in practical terms. So statements like your subconscious mind is unlimited and you need to you know, tap in into your subconscious mind and, you know, you need to imagine these things. I don't know if I'm, I've become a manifestational snob or what, but these just don't work. They don't explain to people what the fuck they need to do. Okay. And this is the other thing I curse in my coaching for emphasis. You're going to have to sign that agreement. The subconscious mind, explain to me, what the fuck does that mean? Okay, I'll tell you. Subconscious mind consists of beliefs that you've picked up from mama, drama, panorama in your relatives, um, um, you know, um, siblings, whoever that influenced you, stepdad, stepmom, pa, 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 pa. Something that you've concluded that is intrinsically true, like this is completely true and absolutely this is, there's no argument, I agree, okay? And so your subconscious mind is a stubborn motherfucker. He, it, he or she doesn't like change. They're going to battle you, which is why the belief work is so profound and so important to, for you to change because the old beliefs will put up the fight, Okay, that's the subconscious mind, the subconscious mind that acts on an automatic pilot. And that's what you need to change in order for your manifestations to change because it's a direct reflection. Now, how some people um, treat subconscious mind that they have unlimited possibilities. No, excuse me, that's the quantum field. You're interacting with the quantum field with your subconscious mind constantly. Okay, I should give a lecture. This is going to turn into a lecture. <laughs> I should go somewhere on the podium already. Okay, I just don't have the time or whatever. Are you guys going to come? I need to build my audience first. I've just been so freaking busy with my clients, which I adore, of course. And so when you send out a message, hey, I'm changing my beliefs. I'm believing money is easy. SP is easy. Good life is easy. It is easy, by the way. Uh, it's the, the hard life that it's hard. I mean, it's just logical is really what it is. Got you there. <laughs> logical minded people. Then the quantum field delivers those um, experiences to you that are completely like flowing and easy and effortless. Okay. This mumbo jumbo of like affirmations till the end of time and persist, persist, persist with your affirmations. You know what? This is why people um start affirming, start manifesting something. It manifests for a little while and then it goes away. So the root of the problem, so to speak, the root of your work is the the nine hundred um, ton uh, iceberg, you know, uh, submerged underwater called your beliefs. Beliefs equals uh, equals subconscious mind. Okay, if you don't change your subconscious mind, i.e. beliefs, you don't have very much to work with. If you don't even want to go there, which could be scary because it is submerged for a reason. Okay, if it wasn't submerged, you would be kind of like knowing what it really is. Okay, and so a couple of times some people in my coaching rebuttaled me and said, I don't want to go there. It's just scary. Well, okay, well, then we're done. <laughs> what do you want me to do? <laughs> okay, but that's the thing. And that, that you know, you, you have to really work on. And so basically, commanding your SP into a new version is easy if you understand two things. That there are innumerable parallel realities, innumerable parallel par versions of you and him, by the way, or her. But certainly of him or her. Okay. And so let me make this to you like super easy. You want to make change like super fast in your reality. Get a brain transplant. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm kidding. Of course, change your beliefs super fast and understand that it's easy and understand that they're waiting on your command. 
There's nobody else in the room, like Bashar says. There's nobody else deciding anything. Meanwhile, you're, you're thinking that this person, this SP, or her, he or her, um, him or her, um, is under, you know, has you under uh, his or her control, and nothing can be further from the fucking truth. You're misunderstanding the whole premise. If you understand how it actually works that you're in charge the whole time the reason the situation isn't changing or he or she isn't changing into this wonderful guy or girl is because you have beliefs up here operating in contradiction of what you want to create and so if you want to create change fast in quotations like i said change your beliefs really fast but it takes time and start creating a new version of idea of this person that parallel reality that already exists and always will exist by the way always existed tune into that parallel reality like on a radio dial okay the connection has to be crystal clear so it's like you're tuning in to something that you kind of get a glimpse of uh, once in a while. No, it needs to be full-on transition into this existence that you are connecting to. All these other parallel realities you you also co-created or created and, and creating with other like actors. You are the director the, the entire time. There's other things going on, but you choose this time to tune into this one on purpose, deliberately. Okay, this time around, I'm going to choose to create an idyllic marriage, idyllic relationship, whatever the fuck I want, beautiful life, beautiful house, la 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 la. Just for fun, just for sake of a difference, okay, if nothing else. <laughs> All this time it was like shit, 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 and now, huh big spike like in in the stock market and i've decided just by my you know free will of being a creator the only one who has free will is you parenthesis here that i'm going to have a superb life with the guy or girl girl that i wanted and i'm going to have them be the way that i want them to be okay and that's how change is created all you're doing all day long really is choosing one possibility out of the unlimited possibilities all day long you're doing that and making it visible to you in the 3D. You're just like pulling it out out of the abyss and saying this please, this please. And so if you're being lazy about your creations, it's the same shit over and over again on, on automatic piling. You're observing what it is, you copy and paste it. You're observing what it is, copy and paste it. Okay, can you become the decider of your life like I said in the beginning? Can you start practicing your godliness, your godly power? And start deciding something different. So changing my SP, my ass, is the easiest thing in the world. Write down the kind of version you want to have and they will come about if you allow them to. But you see, most people, this is the problem. You have so much anger, resentment and other like shit that you remember with them that it just, it blocks all of that newness coming through to come through. It's always a there. It's always available. It's always a there. <laughs> started th talking like an Italian woman. <laughs> it's always a there. <laughs> it is always there. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> oh, golly. It's always there. It's always available. You need to understand that. You need to let go of the past memory. It's junk. It's yesterday's fucking newspaper. Who the fuck wants to read yesterday's newspaper? I don't understand. You know, I mean, look, you want to reside in the victimhood, in the shitty shed? Go for it, my darling. I'm just going on an exception that you want a different life. My mouth is talking like 50 miles per hour right now or maybe 100. I don't know. So much information I have on my page uh, and in my mind. And so you have to create that knowing, knowing, all right, knowing your desire is yours, knowing this person is like this, not just like, mm, I wish upon a star. No, 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 <laughs> that's not what we're doing here. We are knowing, we're knowing it into creation. 
we are no so this person was a narcissist parenthesis here watch my video on narcissist a womanizer cheater liar la 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 this girl was pa 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 whatever she's done <laughs> to you and now you've made a decision i don't want this reality anymore i've fucking had it i've had it and so my new inst my new ideas about life my new beliefs my new ideology will take me to that parallel reality. I will allow that transfer. I've done this on purpose, you guys. It's not that hard. It really isn't. I mean, I don't mean to brag or anything, but it's not that hard. I remember very easily, um, very uh, vividly, rather, um, a, a number of years ago, maybe five years ago now, uh, something like this, I had a dire situation. Um... And I mean, it wasn't dire would be an exaggeration, but it was a very critical situation. Like situation, let's just say. And I really wanted a certain outcome, a certain outcome that I re and I was trying this and trying that and trying this and trying that, and I really wanted, like I said, the outcome that I wanted, and it, it, I was under you know uh, the pressure of time, and that was really stressful, but. I I knew I know this pressure of time now in, in my with my fashion business and I mean just about every kind of situation in business life that I've encountered and I know how to relax in times of pressure I just know on on purpose how to put my body at ease and allow myself to go into a parallel reality there's no other way you can do it like you have to relax you cannot be stressed and create a new outcome. It's just, it's not going to happen. And so I knew how to do it. And I remember very vividly, I was walking um, in Manhattan. It was raining. And I said, I'm trying too hard. I'm forcing this. And so I'm going to allow the universe to bring me like the best version of events and I was listening to this composition. Um, I like classical music um, and like movie music, sc mo movie scores and things like that. And it was partic this particular composition that really resonated with me and took me to that feeling. And the words that came to me, it has always been so and it will always be so. Meaning like it's already there. This reality is already existing. You don't need to try so hard it's just let it wash over let it come to you let that energy come to you and this was let's just say i don't know let's let's just say it was thursday by monday i had the solution like the most perfect solution that is still keeps on giving till this day and it was absolutely a miracle a miracle that I could not have devised. The next day, let's say it was Thursday, the next day, Friday, I had met with people who gave me the solution. Um, it, w it happened within hours. It was superb. It was absolutely, I mean, I don't want to go into details because it's a little bit personal, but it was something about business, um, real estate, and it was absolutely marvelous the most brilliant idea. And so while you're over here thinking how hard it is, how impossible that is, and all this fucking jazz, miracles do come true. And what you're calling miracle is simply transferring yourself into a parallel reality. Okay. So remember, like Neville said, there is no fiction. If you write something down, if you wish for something, and I've been working at this project, by the way, for like, I don't know, nine months before that, maybe seven, um, seven, eight, nine months, something like this. And it's finally, you know, finally came to fruition at that point. And so there is no fiction and ignore your current reality and overlay, um, overlay it uh, with your preferred. And what is your preferred reality in this case that your darling, your SP is a completely different person, loves you and adores you. Um, you're the price of this relationship. They regret their actions towards you. They regret mistreating you. It hit them in the head that you're the only one that they could ever fathom to spend the rest of their life with. You're the only one who they want to, um, you know, talk to and, and make it up to you for the way they treated you. Whatever you want them to do, like literally whatever you want them to. When I say whatever you want them to do, I literally mean whatever you want them to do in a benevolent sense, obviously. 
it's treated like a game. If you really understand, like, it's a game, it's, it's a done deal. It's a done deal already as you wished it to be. But you're insisting on residing somewhere else in another reality where it's still kind of like a problem. Well, okay, but let's not make it a problem. Let's make it a, um, a challenge, an interesting exercise, a game, okay? Okay, here I am in this reality. Don't want to be in this reality anymore. I want to transfer to a different one where things are like this and like that. And when my guy or girl is like this and like that, okay? You, by you becoming and emitting this energy and becoming a new version, you create the feeling of that parallel reality and you change everything. You change the scene. It's like, imagine if like your life is kind of like a theater production, a, a, a stage, and there's certain kind of like furniture in it and whatever, certain characters and this and that. And you're like, I've had it with this. Now I want to introduce different things. It's up to you. And so be specific about what you want to create. I want my guy to be caring. I want him to be affectionate. I want him to be loyal and faithful. I want to be the only woman for him, only guy for her. I want them to propose to me. Whatever you want them to do, it's not, nothing is far-fetched. Not a goddamn thing is far-fetched. Like I said, it's only what you believe. And the other thing I really want to insert is the advantage of working on yourself. Like right now, I think, you know, some of you have truly been mistreated by your SP, not treated right, okay? And you're worrying about this person, Whereas the pos your position should be, excuse me, it's, it was not cool what you did. It was not the right thing how you um, acted towards me. And so naturally you're feeling guilty. Naturally you're feeling remorseful. And I'm just going to take the stance where you're completely remorseful about the way you acted. Um, you're drowning in guilt. Um, and you can't wait to make it up to me rather than hanging on to the idea, oh my, oh my God, here I am a victim and um, they're not talking to me. They ghosted me. Oh, no, 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 no. This energy goes somewhere. If somebody mistreats somebody, it's not, what is it? You think it goes nowhere? This energy goes nowhere? Oh, no, 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 no. You need to completely understand that you're in a very good position, especially if they treated you wrong. You need to focus on yourself and understand that you're the work. You're, you're the, the god of this reality. You're the one to work on. And then you'll get that dumbass um, to apologize or whatever you want them to do. But by that time, parenthesis here, in some cases... When you level up your frequency and you go to, to th those levels of frequency where you work on yourself, work on your business, maybe you quit your job, lots of people have in my coaching, establish a new business, make more money, la 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 la, you may not want that person. You might, but you might not. So the advantage of working on yourself is that you have yourself figured out, you are able to be a more deliberate manifester, and the whole world reflects it back to you. And so to have this guy or girl come back and beg for an apology and make it up to you and, and you know, change in front of your eyes and, you know, do whatever it is you please, ugh, piece of cake. They owe you the world, especially if they mistreated you, especially if they mistreated you. Because like I said, that energy doesn't go anywhere. So you should really, you know get yourself out of bed if you're crying in in bed right now or get yourself out of that mood that you may be in right now and understand you are a good person 99.99 people in my uh, that ever come into my coaching are wonderful people may i say i'm truly blessed um but the thing is you really need to treat yourself as such worthy of investing in worthy of working on and understanding you did nothing wrong other than the track that you're on right now, have you believed that you're on the wrong track because of your beliefs? All the information for me is below. Until next time, thank you for listening. Ciao, ciao.